Well, this is Richard, and welcome back to Making Something From Nothing. This is the gyroscope flywheel build part number two. Here's a couple of clips from part one. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You can go watch that and come back and join me as I try and keep this thing parallel, concentric, to machine the opposite side, and turn down the outside diameter. Now to machine the other side of the brass flywheel, I'm chucking up a nice sized chunk of aluminum that we're going to use as a super glue arbor. It was used on this little aluminum one that you see here, and each time that you go ahead and make one of these, it has to be turned down because you can't rechuck one and then reuse it because you're never going to put it back in the chuck and have it run concentric. So we machined off the old one and we're going to go ahead and turn down a new spigot to go ahead and mount the brass flywheel. Now in part one, we went ahead and drilled and reamed out the brass flywheel to 3 16 So that's our target, 187 and a half thousandths. Using an arbor like this is going to guarantee us the best chance of mounting up the brass, not only parallel, but concentric with the axis of the lathe. In part one, I left the disc a little bit oversized, which is good because it gives me a chance to go ahead and turn down this nasty burr right here and get rid of the scratch from the calipers. Well, I was looking for 472 and I've got uh, 472 and a few tenths, almost 73. So we're going to leave it right there. So now we're going to go ahead and mark out the divisions just like we did in part one. So I won't show you the whole setup on that. Now this tool I ground specifically for this job, hoping to get a great finish on the diameter of this, and it seems to be doing a really nice job. Now the customer had me order two and a half inch diameter brass, and this particular flywheel is only 50 millimeters, which is a little bit under two inches. So there's a lot of material to come off. Yeah, those things were aggravating me too. Strong little suckers.
Well, with all the machining done, it's time to take it off the arbor with a little bit of heat. Well, it looks like I managed to get through the whole job without scratching this thing up. Extremely happy about that. We'll let that guy dry off for a bit. Well, for full disclosure, I didn't feel good about not breaking this edge right here on the inside. So even though the drawing didn't call for it, I went ahead and uh, remounted this up on our mandrel. And I went ahead and broke the edge and put a very small chamfer on both sides. Uh, I didn't like that sharp edge. And sometimes the people that send these drawings don't understand what goes on over in the shop so I made an executive decision and went ahead and did it it's so slight he probably won't even notice it but at least there's no sharp edge well here's the precision part I made leave me a comment down below hope you all enjoyed the video and for making something from nothing this is Richard and thank you for watching <laughs>